Uh, first of all, thanks, um, big thanks for the Gortam team for this wonderful yes, event. Um, my name is Simonas. I'm sales team lead at uh, company Baltic Car Equipment. Uh, telematics is a big topic already for, for a long time and it's getting even bigger and wider than ever. Uh, so today I would like to talk uh, how to improve your telematics solutions with advanced hardware. Uh, firstly, I would like to introduce our company. Currently we have uh, 65, more than 65 team members with the health office in Kaunas, Lithuania. Uh, we have more than 12 years of experience in telematics fields and over this time we have gained partners in more than uh, in 70 countries. Um, since we have a number of partners in different countries uh, and they are providing different solutions, uh, we have purged three main trends for telematics uh, that we are focusing on. So, solutions are more important than the hardware. Uh, there are many different hardware manufacturers, some of, some of them are here now, but the companies are no longer looking for the hardware. They are looking for specific solutions with which they can be unique, more flexible, um, satisfy more clients. Uh, the second would be data from mobile and stationary objects. Um, tracking is no longer just for vehicles and other moving objects. Uh, we are asked to track and monitor um, vacuum cleaners, billboards, containers, uh, basically all equipment that has uh, electronics. And more data from Cambus. Uh, standard parameters like fuel are uh, RPM, wheel speed, and others uh, are usually not enough in today's market. So we are requested to provide uh, more parameters which has nothing to do with uh, GPS tracking or at least as we used to know the term, like outside temperature, some special codes, uh, uh, windows open, closed, it can be seat belts, it can be everything, all the parameters. So how do you fit with these requirements? Firstly, SDK or uh, software development kit which allows uh, you to, be, uh, to create your own unique algorithms inside the hardware. Uh, then MQTT, we have chosen a new protocol which is already integrated by Gortam, uh, lightweight ne network communication protocol and uh, Cambus database. So two Cambus lines uh, which is separated from firmware and device logic. So SDK. Since different service providers uh, or distributors have different and specific requirements depending on, um, on the size of the company, of the technical knowledge of uh, local market, uh, hardware manufacturers in the most cases are unable to provide all-in-one solution or one hardware to fit into all projects. Uh, so what SDK can give to us and to you? New functionality, uh, different device logics, um, Working, working spheres on specific projects, um, fast and flexible integration of new equipment, uh, three different SDKs, I mean, so device will be able to work with three different SDKs, and SDK separated from firmware and device logic. So firmware and the main device logic is separated from the SDK script, so the main software, the main firmware will not be affected, which will uh, lower the possibility of critical mistakes and also control and integration of Cambus. So you will be able to integrate new Cambus protocols, new vehicles, uh, new parameters from Cambus. So it's a full control. Uh, a simple example, um, currently we support some temperature data loggers, like data call, touch print, uh, Euroscan and Transcan. Um, in order to support, we had to integrate them into our protocol, uh, create new parameters uh, and etc. But it was not the easiest way because uh, it, we couldn't allow it to affect the whole structure of the firmware uh, in order to avoid the breakdown <laughs> of all devices, for example. So if we could, uh, could have uh, the SDK possibility before that, we could have done that much faster with more parameters and uh, probably much safer. Uh, another uh, example would be um, SDK using uh, with SMS uh, messages. So you can create an SDK based on specific Ambus uh, parameter, for example, uh, engine RPM. Uh, and if it exceeds, you can um, 
create also an SMS message which device will send. Uh, there is no limitation for the SDK, so you can monitor several parameters from Canvas, for example, at once, and you can send several messages to, to different phones. MQTT. Uh, so why we have chosen it and what does it give to us? Again, it's already integrated. The integration has, has been done. Uh, so it's lightweight uh, communication protocol, so possibility to choose the size of the data packet by choosing which parameters are needed to be sent. Also, the protocol itself compresses the data. Is there data transfer to several servers at once, one-time integration, uh, while adding new parameters to the protocol? Uh, there is no need for additional integration to, into the server because we are defining the parameter itself inside the, inside the protocol. So. Uh, you don't need to contact uh, Gurtam, for example, when they will add new parameter. Secure protocol, so possibility to create username and password for, for data transfer. Uh, so what we already did with the SDK and MQTT. Um, some time ago, we have received an inquiry from our partner. Uh, the request was to monitor internal parameters of agricultural machinery via specific campus. This project was made uh, for um, one specific uh, agricultural machinery manufacturer, but the interesting part is that this can be applied for other manufacturers as well because there are more than 600 uh, different parameters going uh, through that specific campus protocol. And different agricultural machinery can have different parameters. For example, it could be the amount of, pe of pesticides and seeds uh, per one square meter, some kind of pressure, outside temperature, wind speed, for example. Uh, so, some objectives in the results. So, predictive maintenance for machinery manufacture and far farmer performance analysis. And the results, of course, diagnostics, failure dia diagnostics and decreased work efficiency. Manufacture goals was to monitor deviations of equipment operational parameters in order to prevent the machinery from critical um, damage and do the repairs before the breakdown. So in, the in, so in the end, the repair would cost less and the efficiency of, of the machinery would be higher. Also, in the same time, farmer can pre-order the needed parts because we, the manufacturer will tell which parts will fail soon. Also, manufacturer wanted to monitor farmer performances, so they would uh, gather, monitor the data of the least and the most efficient farmers, would compare them, and then could advise, for example, the least efficient farmer uh, how he, he can improve and provide the solution for them. Uh, some areas of use. Uh, so real-time monitoring of statuses and other parameters, predictive maintenance, uh, for example, monitoring the pressure of some part uh, and comparing it to the normal value. If the pressure is higher or lower than the normal value, so the manufacturer of the machinery can predict that particular part of that machinery will fail soon so they can do all the planning before the critical breakdown. Um, then monitoring of the efficiency of, of, the, of the machinery, the employees, um, because manufacturer has all the data and can compare depending on how they agreed with their client, for example. Uh, some real examples, how it looks, so we can see some, some of the data. Uh, fertilizer spreading speed, remaining distance, pump speed, uh, current fuel consumption, and etc. As I mentioned, there are more than 600 parameters. Of course, different machinery has different parameters. Maybe it's spreading pesticides, maybe it's, I don't know, just gathering some, some vegetables for, from the field or something. Third tool that we have chosen is a Canvas database. So we have separated the Canvas database from firmware and device logic. Uh, that helps us as well to add the new Canvas protocols faster because it doesn't require any changes to be made on the firmware side. So that's how we can also avoid uh, the critical mistakes, for example. Also, when, the, when you are updating units, for example, you have 100 units uh, that needs to work on the same settings but you have to choose uh, different Canvas protocols because they are different vehicles. So now we can use the same settings and change the Canvas program for each vehicle, for each unit separately. Also, 
the database of the wirings will, will be in the same place, so it will be easier to, 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 to gather all the information and provide to, to your technicians. And two campus lines simultaneously, so we have released devices with two campus lines for more data or, or to support more vehicles, because some vehicles uh, can have, uh, for example, engine RPM on one campus and fuel level and other dinner data on another campus line. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, also two campus lines can be used for one, one campus line can be connected to the vehicle campus and the other campus line can be used for additional sensors or accessories like ADA system, fuel level sensors, uh, tire pressure sensors uh, and, and all other things. Um, summary, SDK, creating your own unique algorithms, MQTT, lightweight, lightweight network communication protocol and CAN database, parameters from two campus lines simultaneously. Uh, for that, I would like to mention uh, uh, what you have done on the hardware. We have released uh, several units for two campus lines, is uh, FMS 500 SD CAN, and combining SDK, MQTT, and two CANs, it's uh, Taho and XD CAN. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>